I was just wondering what's uh, any advice for just overall simple mistakes that uh, someone like me as a brand new business owner coming into it, not even started yet, just overall simple mistakes that can be completely avoided from everyone's experience. Before I go to Scott, hang on. Anybody else want to chime in before Scott goes? What, what should the big arena is the What do you do? They want to know what you do. First start, not brand new. You don't even know what you're doing yet, right? Nope. Brand new. Started yet. Brand new. Paul's got it. Buy a lot of equipment from Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the right equipment. No. Yeah. The, I, I would tell you the most important thing that you can do is decide what you like to do. Don't chase the dollars. The dollars will come if you're doing what you love. That's easy to do. It's easier to sell. It's easier to do. You'll enjoy going to work. You'll make more money doing that. So that would be the first thing. I'd tell my kids the same thing. Um, do your research, which you're doing. Educate yourself. Talk to your peers. Get involved. You know, edu education is the biggest thing because it's easy to sell something when you know what you're talking about. Don't make stuff up when you talk to people because it'll always come back to bite you. If you don't know, just tell them, I'm not sure, but let me check and I'll get back to you. Like when people ask me prices, because it always comes back to bite. <laughs> Where's Bill? Where's Bill? Bill. 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 Tony, and then you can chime in on that, Scott. I'll touch on what uh, Paul said, but expand it by saying vet your sources of information. Know who you're talking to. Don't just go into one group and, and let a bunch of guys that may just be in the same boat you are. They may have just started six months ago or a year ago and they're telling you how to strike it rich. Because there are those groups out there, and they'll mislead you, and they'll tell you what they were told, but they haven't put into practice yet. Make sure who you're getting your information from has the experience and the business savvy to be telling you how to make your life easier. The first thing is buy the highest quality equipment you can find. Don't go for the cheap stuff. If you have to wait a couple of weeks, you have to wait a couple of weeks because that's what it takes to have the best I stuff. I think that's the biggest mistake that we've all made. Yeah. And we bought the wrong stuff. Well, well, you price shop. And the, and the second thing is organization. Make sure you have a checklist of everything you're going to need that you're going to load in your truck or your van or whatever every single day to make sure you have everything before you leave the yard because it costs you an hour, two hours, every time you have to go back and get the left-handed widget. Steve, you got something? Yeah. It's going to be funny, I bet. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Seriously. Don't get discouraged. If you see some of these guys in here talking about, and you hear money figures going out there that they make, and they're nice rigs, and if it doesn't happen at first, don't, don't get discouraged. Just do the best you can, and when you get to the best you can, if you get to a point that you need to know something, if you're in the UAMCC, then, man, you've got knowledge everywhere. I call people all the time, but just don't give up. Just keep fighting and, and don't undercut yourself on prices. You know what you got to make to, it's not just buying equipment. If you go out cheap, all you're going to do is work yourself to death and buy equipment. You got to put money in your pocket and you know what you need to do to, to turn a profit and just stick with it. Your only competition is yourself. Exactly. I just, I just want to 